Hello everyone, welcome to part 10 of Deep Elf Wizard of Fedas. Hopefully I got the correct episode number this time. So we're here after just clearing Elf. Um, at the end of the last one I actually got arrested for an illegal Oklob farm, but I'm out on bail at the moment, so hopefully I'll be able to remain free while we finish off this series. Alright, so the plan is to head into Depths. Um, the, the really nice thing is that I've got 9 scrolls of magic mapping, so you want 5 to finish to do every floor of the Realm of Zot, and then we pretty much have enough to do every floor of Depths as well. And I think, yep, uh, we've got some scrolls of magic mapping that we can buy, and a scroll of enchant armor. Is our dragon scale is full? I think 8 is the max. Yeah, can't be enchanted further. Okay, so that's fine. Um, my buckler could go up an extra enchantment though. Uh, so can my boots. Probably the one AC is better than the one um, shield point. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we're going to. Uh, where's the enchant armor? Um, it's on D10. That's on this floor. Wow. Okay. Alright. Enchant armor. We have 3000 gold, so I guess I may as well. Um, how are we going for one of us? We've got six. Because there's one for sale there, but that's okay. I'll pick up the scroll of fear as well. And then on our way down, on D12, um, there are two more scrolls of magic mapping, which I'd like to pick up. It's on D12, yeah. yeah. Take a shelf down, it'll be exciting. Uh, and down again. Somewhere here. Two scrolls of magic mapping. Cool. Alright, so now we can um, we can magic map every floor of depths, which is pretty nice. Ah, free piety. Sweet. Always a bonus. Gotta grab that free piety when you can get it. Alright. And I think I'd like to tell my two mushrooms to guard here while well, I just go down and have a look. And there's nothing there, which is always what you're after. So I'll say, follow me again. And let's, uh, okay, well, we've got a ghost. Um, Heartnet's ghost. It's a gargoyle fighter. It's probably going to have a lot of AC. It does. Um, very resistant to fire and partially resistant to cold. Um, I want to try to hit it with Orbs of Destruction, which is very dangerous to cast. Ah, because we're both drained and we're still wearing the heavy armor. Um, interesting. Alright, what's my... my freezing cloud is red as well. Hmm. I could quaff a brilliance. I have six of those, which is a lot. Uh, this was maybe not necessary, but you can see it immediately puts all my spells to 1%. So then we're gonna orbit destruction this guy. Please don't hit the mushroom. Didn't. Heartnet, please. Uh, yeah, yeah, we got him. Alright. Uh, that was a difficult ghost. Alright, um, and there is an unknown scroll there. So I think that's, well, our drain, getting rid of our drain will help. Um, but I think we need to be focusing on trying to get these spells castable. So Bolt of Cold on 5%, even though it's yellow, is probably fine. 11% red on Freezing Cloud is not though. Neither is 17% on Orb of Destruction. So it looks like at the moment I'm training, um, I'm focusing armor, that will help me. Uh, well, we're looking at the drain skills, that's the actual skills. So we're focusing on armor, all those will help us. I think I'd like to turn off fighting, 
to try to get up my spells castable more quickly. And then um, I'm doing a bit of air magic, which will help Freezing Cloud. And then I think I want to go into Conjurations, um, especially for Orb of Destruction. But that will also help out a little bit for Freezing Cloud and Bolt of Cold. Cool. Um, so I want to. I bought this Enchant Armor and then forgot to use it. I think the AC is better. So even though it's a plain boots, it's still plus one AC. Let's map our floor. Good. Oh, that's a funny looking thing down here. It's probably a vault to go into pan or hell. So we'll try not to do that. This looks like a shop. Alright, and then for unknown scrolls, if I do backslash minus, it'll show me the things I don't know yet. So that scroll I picked up is either requirement or random uselessness. Um, Either way, I'm happy to read it now. It's a climate. So then what do I want? Um, weapon we're fine with. Uh, we're not really after a weapon. Uh, we have a lot of fruit. Otherwise, you can see here, fruit is an option for when you're fed us. And that's actually a decent option if you're lacking in fruit. Because you saw how busted at the end of the last episode, Oclob plants are. Um, so more fruit, more oclops, more brokenness. Um, staff could be an option, but the only staff we'd really be after would be a staff of energy. Um, that lets you cast your spells without hunger costs. But first of all, we're not really that worried about hunger costs because we're not casting the level 9 spells. And two, um, I'm relying on the staff of cold for my one point of RC that I have. Um, jewelry tends to be really hit or miss. Book, there's nothing we're particularly after, except maybe deflect missiles, but that's a really big dice roll too. I think I'll just go armor and hope that I get, say, boots of running. That would be the dream. We got a spike scarf. Have I got ID? I don't. How brave am I? <laughs> um, I could just put this on to see. No, I think I'll wait. To identify anywhere, there are lots. Okay. All right. Well, I just tell my mushroom to wait here, and I'll go find one of those. Identify. Uh, there are three in orc. Okay. Let's grab those. It's also a chant weapon, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, my demon trident's max already, and more magic mapping. Also more teleport. We have sixteen, so I'm not worried about teleport. Recharging. Um, I've only got one. I'll do my one of digging, and then I guess I'll buy another one. Okay, so ID, ID, ID. Yep, I want them. What happened there? Uh, we'll try again. ID, ID, ID. Yep. Okay. Uh, spike scarf. Plus invis, okay, no. It's a bit underwhelming. Um, <laughs> the resistance is obviously much better. It gives us a point of RC, which is 50% less cold damage. Okay, so we want to go back to depths. Scroll of disappointment. All right, follow me, mushroom. I feel like there was something else I wanted to do. Maybe I'll just. Oh, there is deflect missiles. Huh. It was in Elf. Alright, well, I'll remember that. Um, I don't think we can do it right now, because as I was just explaining, we've really got to get our spells castable again. So, yeah. Uh, once I've got all this stuff under control, then I'll, I'll think about deflect missiles. Armor to 8. Um, I'd like to have two mushrooms. I feel better with two, for some reason, rather than just one. Good, more stone giants. That really hurt, but that's okay. We'll back up to rest up. Right. Slime creatures very kindly coming at us one at a time. Good. 
Uh, that's a fly giant. Two of them, in fact. I have three points of RF, so these guys aren't too scary. Um, yeah, I didn't think they were vulnerable to cold. I also have, it's only about a 40% chance to hex them. Um, that's not so good. So we're going to be going balls of cold, which is on A. Except they're too far away right now. There we go. Alright, we got him. Let's see if we can eat one. Good. 10 potions of mutation. This is the one time where I felt like I actually could go insane with potions of mutation if I wanted. Um, I kind of like the mutations we have though. Um, well, we haven't seen any helmets as far as I'm aware. Yeah, literally no helmets in the whole game. So having horns isn't an issue. Plus four shield is obviously good. And again, the spells being harder to cast but more powerful. I mean, it, it's harder for us to train them, but once we get there, they're better. So it's probably still an overall win. It's, yeah, I was going to say, that's a shapeshifter. The golden eye was weird, and then it became a wag. Um, I can throw down a summon lightning spire. Ah, uh, what a spell. Where did it go? I think it's nuts. Oops, there's still a troll hitting me. I was blending in with the armors. Very cheeky. Some artifact books here. Something costs a lot of gold. I don't think there's anything we're really after. Deflect missiles is probably the one, and we found it in Elf. Okay, yeah, I think we're fine. Just check my spell levels. I've got. Um, if I have a look here, I've got five left. Bolt of cold down the line. Good. Um, letting an Eden hit me is not quite as scary as it once was. It's still never wise, but I've got 29 AC, so it's not as um, as deadly as it once was as a deep elf. Yeah, that's our depth one. That wasn't so bad. Again, I'll tell my friends to wait here, and I'll check out what's below. A spark wasp. Um, I don't have our lek on. I'd have to put switch rings. Okay. Um, I'll take him up because even with Aralek, you see how insane these guys are. I have a 71% chance to confuse them though. That's probably just what I should do. And probably I should also be um, casting regen. If I look at my usual regen macro, it's for confuse. Um, I'm going to change that. Oh, not like that. That. Okay. So I should be using regen as I'm going downstairs like this. Did we get him? Yeah, yeah. Good. There are probably more, because that was oops, I won't follow. Uh, that was only two spark wasps and they tend to be in bigger packs than that. But maybe not. We'll map our floor. Alright, this looks like we got a few different fun things going on. That looks like a treasure trove. That's exciting. <laughs> I wonder if it's going to be after like a plus eight demon trident. <laughs> uh, that'd be pretty funny. Fire dragon down. Uh, I'm near starving, so I'm going to eat. It looks like that was the end of the spark wasps, so I'm going to switch back to my ring of our poison and Emma. Make some spires. Yeah. 
Do you think just because you're you're a conjurer who has really high like bolt of cold and stuff that spire is outclassed? It's still just as good. Alright, this looks like a spooky undead vault. Uh, a lich. My orb of destruction is at 12%, so it's better than it was, but it's still not great. Um, I'll just step around the corner and wait for him to come to me. Uh, he's hasted. That means he could have... Uh, well, I didn't see him cast haste, but if he's got haste, he's got... Uh, crystal Spear or Orb of Destruction. We've only got one throwing net. Um, I can net him though. If he nails me with a crystal sphere, I've got a scroll of blinking. And I probably, uh, well I would ideally like to use orb of destruction, but I can't really. Well it's dangerous, so I think I'll just hit him with the icicles. Because otherwise, oh, we're gonna, okay, good. Um, otherwise he'll just resist Bolt of Cold. And I probably should have thrown down a Lightning Spire as well. Um, again, just because it's a Lich, does not mean that Lightning Spire you should forget about. Uh, a Vampire Knight. I want to XP him. He's got a 0% chance to paralyze me, which is good. If I paralyze him, 37%. Uh, failed, failed, got him, okay. I'd rather just walk away from this spooky looking vault um, while I've got no mana. Oh yes, free piety. Uh, back to my stuff of cold. Free piety, yes. Uh, that's a frost giant, okay. You gotta check those because uh, particularly Juggernaut Skeletons would do a lot of damage. Another Lich. Okay. I'm gonna throw down a Spire and then we're gonna start Shard of Icing him. Thank you, Spire. Free Piety. Ah, oh, right. Also, my air magic got to 11, so I'll turn that off and I'll go Conjurations again. Check my spells. Uh, freezing Cloud is 7% it's yellow. That's probably fine. Uh, wizard. Could have Crystal Spear. If he's got... That's the most dangerous thing I care about. If he's a um, Banish Wizard, he won't be able to get me. Okay, here's a Crystal Spear one. Let's bolt a cold him then. And make two mushrooms. How perfect. Uh, we are out of mana. Um, if I fight, <laughs> if I fight with my wandering mushrooms, I can probably be an axe user. As long as these guys don't all get hasted and mited, uh, like that guy is, but he's confused. Um, this guy that's also hasted and mited, seventy-one percent chance to confuse him. Uh, we failed again. Uh, we failed twice. Okay. Uh, well, I need to blink. We got pretty unlucky there. And I could probably fear him. Yeah. Can I fear him? Yeah, okay, I feared him. Alright. Just take this slowly because I could get LRD'd as I'm retreating. Um, ugly things. Okay, I'm just try not to get noosed. Alright. Uh, another one mushroom. May as well go fight those ugly things. Okay, well I don't know where they are. Okay, round two. Maybe I should just confuse this guy. Yeah, before he starts hasting and mighting things. Free party. Whoa, made a whole bunch of mushrooms. Why did that happen?
I don't know. Just as a ring of toadstools grows before your very eyes. I wonder if um, you just have a chance for that to happen. Weird. Uh, we'll make a second mushroom though. Good. Uh, we didn't get any to eat though. It's unfortunate. Free party. This is a fire giant. And that is a flayed ghost. Not too scary on his own though. The vampire knight. Um, well, we can probably just kill him. Alright, well, we can't see him. <laughs> uh, see invis. Ring goes on. Uh, that makes us lose MR. He still only has a 2% chance to paralyze. I feel like that's fine. My mushrooms can't see Invis, so they can't help me out there. Wind goes Invis. And back to our other ring. This one. And he's starving again. Let's eat. Uh, that is a lot of deep trolls. I'm going to put down a spire. I'm going to regen. No, I'm not. I failed it. Uh, well, I'm just going to start both of coding. Good. Alright. Couple more mushrooms. Grab our free piety. And we'll be an axe user again. Where did that go? Man. Got my mushroom from behind. What a jerk. It's alright, we can replace him. Uh, Rakshasa. Ooh, I tried to claim my free piety, but that was an actual ice dragon, not a zombie. Um, I took off my um, stuff of cold there, which is a little dangerous against a um, ice dragon, but he was confused, so that's fine. Freezing cloud is 7%. I think hell knights are vulnerable to cold. No, they're not. They're just immune to fire. But chucking a, a freezing cloud on top of them would be nice. As well as a spire. And again. There's a necromancer somewhere. Okay. Uh, we're now out of mana. This guy has... Um, Steam and Trident is just plain. Okay, so it's not that scary. We have um, full RF. So the RF is not that big a deal, uh, but the Invis Necromancer shooting Bolt of Colds at me is. So I'd better switch back to my Staff of Cold. Okay, we'll make some Wandering Mushrooms. Alright, we're out of mana. Um, I can finish him off with a Wand of Acid, maybe? Nope. Again, we've got him. Um, I don't know if the Necromancer is still around. It doesn't look like it. Okay. That's fine then. Oh, we lost all our dudes. I'm gonna check the demon weapons. Don't think... no. Just an enchanted whip and a um, plain demon trident. Man, even caustic shrike zombies, even as... Uh, or as a skeleton. Even as a skeleton they're busted. <laughs> Alright, we got more crazy stuff coming. Uh, spire and why can't I cast region? It's thirty six percent. Okay, so I need to. Fair enough. I need to train it a little bit more. If I want to use it. Um, I put a cloud on him. He can uh, blow clouds though, or at least he used to be able to. It looks like they took it away. That was an an interesting thing that they had. Um, if you put clouds down like that, he could blow them onto you. Oh, you stepped in the freezing cloud. Silly. 
I will eat that flesh. Check these zombies are not too scary. They're not. Um, not juggernauts. So, and that's a stone giant. Not too scary either. So we'll just be an, an axe user. He's got some sort of shield. Uh, it's just plain. Okay. He's got javelins of returning. Okay, we'd like mushrooms again. And check out my title on the top right. I'm ultraviolet for the green death. That's the title for when you're fed ass and your high skill is invocations. <laughs> uh, I like that title. Alright, what are my spells like? It's fine. Okay. So this training's fine. I'm getting plus four from the manual of invocation, so I may as well keep training it. Spire. Free piety. It's a storm dragon, so it's not too scary. Maybe I'll be an axe user again. As long as these guys don't combine, which they are, <laughs> they're not too scary. But it's alright. Once again, Spire. Very balanced spell. Is that? No, that's the witch I killed earlier. Okay, that was making me a bit frightened. Spire and. Failed. Clouds of Cold? Uh, we're out of mana again. Alright, here we go. We're an axe user again. My spy can't shoot through my mushrooms, so uh, it doesn't get the benefit that I do. When they get simulacrumed, it looks like maybe. Oh no, they can drop corpses. Okay. Free piety. I just wanted to check my spell hungers. Uh, we've got five bread, which is not a lot, but I know I have other food sitting around. Um, also, auto explores brought us brought us into this sort of. Oh, we've done most of it anyway. Into this fort, I'd probably I should be heading to the treasure trove to see um, if we can get into that. Shot um, my boat down the hallway to get the Yaktor captain, even though the frost giant is not going to take much or even any damage from Bolt of Cold. Uh, again, I. <laughs> um, what did I do? I took off my. Uh, words. I took off my Staff of Cold against the, the Cold Dragon, so. Not too bright. Um, I'll let my mushroom, he confused it. That'll do. Uh, a white ugly thing is a cold one. So I don't want to do that either. I can confuse him and then just walk away. And I should check out this um, hatch up. Tuh. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. That's okay. i uh, put down a spire and then just confuse this guy, I guess. And this guy? Yeah, okay. Uh, there's still one getting me. I'm just gonna step on this teleport trap. And it didn't work. You can confuse them to get away from it. There's a yak tour. That's alright. We're just heading to the stairs. Confuse him. Nope. That's alright, we got there. Uh, the reason I wanted to take the hatch is because we might. Um, we might auto travel that way on our Auburn. So it's worth it to check them out. Getting hungry again. Maybe we can eat this Yakto. Nope. Alright, so we're next to the the trove. No cops in that gate either. 
Let's see what this wants. Plus eight demon whip. Yeah. Well, I know there's a demon whip around here somewhere. I think it's very unlikely to be plus eight though. Let's find out. Demon whip. We want the enchanted one over here. It is plus one. So it's going to take a lot of enchant weapon scrolls to get into that trove, and we only have one. I don't think that's ever happening. But I guess if we find a massive stash of them, we could get in. Let's make some mushroom buddies again. I got a your piety has decreased sign and now I'm on five so I think I must have briefly gotten to six. First time this game maybe we got to full fed us piety. These guys are very cleverly staying in the, the cold form so that I can't um, bolt of cold them very well. Oh yes, spire, thank you. Alright, he went invis. That's the wrong kind of item. Right, because he wanted this one. Reached level 23. Cool. Oh, piety. Rakshasa. Got him. He blinked in. It was brave, but not very wise. Freezing Cloud is getting there. Alright, come on, Spire. Do your magic. Alright, depth's two done. Let's go down to depth three. We're near starving again. So we're kind of uh, charging through our food at the moment. Um, I'll tell him to wait here. Ugh. Shapeshifter corpse, can't eat that. Alright, we'll magic map and we'll go back up and grab our dudes. Um, that's a vault if I've ever seen one. And that's probably a hell entrance. That could be a abyss maybe. Alright, so this thing. Um, I think we want to do that last maybe. So I'll X out the entrance into that. I think that's the only one. Yeah. It's probably like full of caustic shracks and stuff like that. Alright, I wanted to tell my dudes to come. That's alright. I can bring these up. Okay. Mushrooms can help me. Uh, we're out of mana, but that's okay. We can be an axe user. Zero. Zero axe skill. <laughs> axe user. Fighting a, a pack of ogres. All at the one time. A bit crazy, maybe. But... Oh, how to get in? Oh, I didn't didn't fully muck it off. Oops, that was dumb. All right, rip mushrooms. I'm sorry. Of course, diagonals are a thing. My bad. I'll make two more. Vampire knight. <laughs> okay. Shot of ice dim. Okay, round two. Don't go in the vault first. <laughs> These brigands, they get pretty owned by freezing clouds. That's a berserker. Also getting pretty owned by the freezing cloud though. They're, they're pretty fragile, spriggins. 11 potions of mutation. Why couldn't this happen in my other games? 
Let's eat him. A few situation is such that we want to be eating whenever we um, are hungry and have a corpse we can eat. Man, dragon went ham. All right. Um, we're out of mana, and that's a fire giant. Um, I'm gonna want to acid him. And again, we can try confuse. It's a thirty-seven percent chance. We got him. Okay. I want to be heading back towards the stairs up though, which are down here. Um, rather than walking around, there's a lot of unexplored area here, and the fireballs that the fire giant were making would be making quite a bit of noise. So walking, being fairly hurt and having no mana, chasing him with my axe is not the correct play. We're better off just going back up and then healing. Okay, good. There's the fire down again. Uh, it's probably fine. We can just fight him when we have mana. That dragon stepped on a Zot trap. I'm glad it didn't paralyze me or abyss me. The floating eye can paralyze you even through your um, what's the gonna call it? Through your MR. Also, there's a frost giant, so I should put my stuff of cold back on. I want to kill the dragon. Uh, what am I trying to do? Uh, that one. Yeah, okay, good. And I'm just going to walk back to the stairs. Um, these are hurting, though. I think I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. A good thing I had my stuff of cold on, though. Um, if those were full damage ults from the frost giant, uh, we might have died there. Freezing cloud these. There's a boggit there summoning more boggits. <laughs> we have to go deeper. Uh, there's Zathor. She has paralyzed but a 0% chance. She's also susceptible to cold. So her standing in this freezing cloud, um, it's a really bad time for her, but we have no mana. So, I think we just go up, we heal, and we just come back again. And then, give her the freezing cloud. Uh, we failed it. I'll go back up. So I'm not, I'm at least not taking Yaktor shots as I do this. Let's go Spire, and then we just bought the cold. She gets pretty destroyed by that. I uh, should have made another mushroom. Can make some here. We'll get two again. Surely a shapeshifter. 13 potions of mutation. <laughs> I think my last five or so games, all of the potions of mutation have spawned in this one. So I've had all these games where I found two or three total, and then to to get so many in this game. It's crazy. Check the hatch. Uh, it's like a thing at the moment in our depths where if you go out a hatch you meet some ugly things. Unfortunately we left our mushroom back down there. No one. Oh, he came back. No corpse. I think I should just be eating everything. I'm starving. Go to three bread rations. I'm still not afraid. Whew. Man. That that imp. Okay, so we've done everything except for this fault. I guess it's time to go in. Shift X, Control E to remove our exclusions. And here we go. Gonna put down a spire. Got him. Conjurations to 18. 
Orbit destruction is at 8% but it's still red, so I think we just keep going. Yep. More fire giants. This is like a fire giant bolt. Uh, Titan. We want to be, yeah, 0% chance for MR to confuse him. These guys have crazy MR. I want to put my R Lek ring on because I do not want to take huge amounts of damage. Don't think he's resistant to cold. He is immune to a Lek, that's it. Okay, so we can just bolt a cold in. Fine, did the trick. We got him in two. For a little bit, um, just while I've got only three bread rations, um, I have more food. Yeah, so I've got a meat ration and some royal jelly. But just until we Corsic Shrike, we have like an, an almost 40% chance to hex it, which is pretty good. Uh, we got it too. Put down a spire to help. It should just be bolt of coding it. Okay, got it. Good. Step away so that the flayed ghost can't see us. Um, this guy has some ingrated demon, but we got him. New ring. This one is flight. Okay, not very useful. And our MR, our poison ring goes back on. Good, decent chance to confuse these guys. What about Takemas? That's something that I've barely been using. Yeah, 50% chance to Takemas him, but it doesn't work. There we go. Um, our elect goes on. The Frost Giants can obviously steal Bolt of Koji without their weapon, but uh, they can't hit you with their axe. More Storm Dragons. Uh, apparently they have pretty good MR. Um, Alright, let's be an axe user. We have our Uh There's a Spriggan Defender though. Uh, we can try once we get 6 mana, which is now to board a call them both. Did not work. What's he got? A Rapier of Venom. Um, well, I don't have my R Poison Ring on. So, what should I do here? Uh, the safest play is probably just to teleport. And we have so many teleports that I think we just do that. There we go. We only had an next one, Ethan, but that's okay. That was seventy-one percent chance to confuse him. All right, and we'll get some. Um, when he's confused and I'm hitting him like that, I probably should use the demon trident because it means that I can hit him without being adjacent. Um, confused monsters can still can still uh, confusedly hit you. Alright, round two. Let's put a freezing cloud down. That way he can't dodge it. Good. Uh, we've still got our, our Lek ring on. Yep. New book. Guide of Creative Hexes. Alright, no. There's a Juggernaut. Um, let's see. Doesn't have resistances. I think I can just put a Spire down. And then just play Keep Away with Blink. Oh, well, he got me. That's okay. New spire. I'll put it in the corner. There we go. Got the armor to 12, invocations to 19. This uh, manual is still going. Yep, so that's fine. Hey, we found some more food. And a new hat. Let's uh, see, Invis. 
Uh, and we're losing Emma. So, Emma and AC. Yeah, so this is better. We can always switch to the ring anyway. Um, I can take Aralek off as well. Okay, so that's step straight on. Um, yep, I guess we'll stop that one there. So if you join me in the next one, we'll do depths four and five, and then we'll think about our third ring. See you then.